we will uh, start with the requisition approval okay so here if you see so we have a list of uh, items that we can opt for so basically we will have uh, the hierarchy based uh, approval rules that we can define or if we want to have it uh, based on the serial or the uh, parallel approval so all those options we can uh, do it okay so for now what i'm doing is that i'm taking uh, this header level uh, hierarchy okay so i have enabled it uh, already and uh, also i have set up a rule for this uh, so that is a simple rule so i'll explain it and uh, probably you'll see the other uh, rules as well I'll do one thing. Let me create a new one. Uh, okay, so there are uh, two things that we will uh, do here. So one is that uh, to give uh, the condition and the other one is that if this particular condition which I'm specifying here, if this is matching, what system should do? whether sh uh, system should look for the uh, uh, particular approval which can be a person or whether system should uh, pick for uh, or look for a particular hierarchy wherein we will have a three to four levels of approval okay or uh, whether a system should say whether this is an auto approval wherein we will not have any hierarchy or anyone that who will approve this particular requisition okay so I'll just uh, give a uh, simple condition here. So here, uh, if you see, so we have uh, different uh, parameters that we can add. So in this case, what I'm adding is that I'm adding this as an BU specific and amount uh, specific. okay so one condition that i have taken is that uh requisition uh view so here i'm giving the value as a uh, method press, so which is the one uh, which we used for the earlier uh, setup so i'm using the uh, same thing so my first condition would be uh the requisition du should be metro uh, business unit okay and here i can add a uh, multiple condition so either i can say this is an unconditioned or or condition or i can just uh, simply add the second uh, condition so here we have two things so one one is that i can give this as an above or i can give this as below so difference is that it is based on the priority if i give above this which means whatever condition i have given that is requisition uh, bu so this will have priority two, which means after checking the first condition, which uh, I'm going to write now. So this will be considered first and after uh, matching or uh, probably it's not matching. So after that, it is going to come to the second uh, uh, priority, which is requisition B. So that's a difference. So what I'll do is that I'll give uh, this one as an below, which means the second priority. So this one I will give as an amount uh, specific. I'll give uh, probably more than uh, 100. 
okay so these things will happen only when uh, we have uh, a scenario wherein we will not need a uh, uproll at all so for those cases we will need we will use this uh, options so here i can simply give even one rupee because i don't want any uh, approval process to be uh, taken place okay so i have just given uh, two simple uh, parameters so we will see the initial case and probably uh, after seeing this we will see uh, the list of uh, hierarchy so how to use those options and how to use the approval group so these things we will see okay so now uh, I have given this two condition and uh, in the uh, action option, what I'll do. So I'll change from approval required to automatic. And the moment I change this automatic, it will say it is approved or rejected. So I'll say approved and I'll click uh, okay. okay. So I'll test this case and probably then uh, we will come back and we will see for the other case. Okay. So what I'll do, I'll, I'll create it for a purchase order also so that we can convert uh, the purchase order. I mean, we can convert the requisition into purchase order. So the uh, similar configuration I'll give uh, there as well. That is uh, this BU should match. Okay. So there it is uh, on header. So here it is on uh, term support. So this will be an uh, serial basis. Okay, so this one also I'm giving it as uh, automatic. So I think earlier uh, configuration that we gave for approval, I missed uh, one step. So what we'll do is that we will save and we will do a uh, deploy. I think I did not uh, do the deployment there. So I'll check the conditions uh, once and I'll deploy. So after that, we will see uh, the uh, requisition part. Okay. So I gave this as equal to zero. So I'll change this also greater than or equal to zero. So which means more than 100 should uh, auto approve. So I'll give this one 
and uh, now again i'll save and i'll deploy this particular upload yeah so this is also done so now what i will do is that i'll create uh, one requisition so we have already uh, created this tab and this thing so it should work for us so let me check once so the uh, item what uh, i'll create is that uh, for now to test this i'll create a non catalog item so non cat catalog item is nothing but without uh, giving the categorization or without having the item in our inventory so we will create this purchase order so let's say i want to give uh, i wanted to create and purchase order for uh, let's say uh, i'm just taking this one the uh, it services so this will be our non catalog uh, item the service based items like the charges and the other information so even though we will uh, get bill uh, from uh, the vendor so this will be a non uh, item okay because we maintain only the goods not the entire thing so what i'll do is that i'll uh, duplicate this i'm copying this particular transaction and i'll create a new uh, requisition okay so now uh, it has created so what i have done is that <coughs> i have created an item uh, th that is without a uh, catalog okay and uh, now here i have a few information that i can capture so if i want to override this particular uh, approval so i can override here so i don't want uh, this override option for now to be used so what I'll do is that I'll use uh, the standard uh, approval process that we defined. Okay. So here, since we gave uh, this charge account and the other uh, information for the earlier uh, requisition that we created, so system is replicating the same uh, charge account uh, that we created. Okay. And uh, the quantity we entered is one with a thousand because the rule that we have defined is that it will. Uh, approve if uh, the uh, amount that the document amount that we are giving is more than 100 okay so that is the reason i have given thousand okay so i will say uh, submit so now this should uh, approve automatically okay so yeah now it is in uh pending approval uh status so probably uh if we go out and uh, i mean if we refresh this page so we should be able to see uh, the status as approved so let me come back again
Okay, yeah, now this is approved. Yeah, so this is upload now. So similarly, we will check for uh, the purchase order as well. Okay, so these are the uh, immediate uh, actionable infolets. So if you see here, so we have one requisition line that is being uh, came into this one to be added as an uh, purchase order so basically these infolets uh, is understandable understandable in the sense that uh, we have certain items that uh, need our immediate attention so that is for the rejected items and the invoices on hold so all those things we will see and also we have a few graphical representation wherein it will show the open items and uh, the uh, the requisition line that is aging so based on the aging days, we can have this. So since we have one that we created just now, so we have this in uh, zero to three days. Okay, so similarly, we have other details as well. So now what I will do is that uh, I can go here and create, or I can simply uh, click this one. So this is going to take me uh, to the uh, screen where I can add this to the purchase order. Okay. So this is the uh, one that we created. So what I'll do is that I'll say add to document uh, builder. And uh, here I'll say create as a purchase order. OK, so vendor it has picked from uh, the requisition. So but in requisition, it is not mandatory to give uh, the vendor and the vendor site. Uh, but we have we gave since uh, we wanted to give i mean automate this one but if at all i don't have the vendor detail there i wanted to enter it when i'm uh, probably uh, booking the purchase order because what will happen is that it's not that always i'll have the vendors list when i'm creating the requisition so there there might be a, a case wherein we will have the uh, rfq uh, request for quotation so we're in uh, based on the uh, best price we probably we will go for the uh, supply okay so in this case what i will do i will say only the item that is needed for the uh, company or for the internal purpose whatever it is okay so i'll mention the item and i will uh, send it across so probably here when i'm creating the purchase order i'll populate the uh, vendor or the supply okay so I'll just say, uh, OK. So now we have on the right hand side the uh, details populated. So probably we can check uh, if the information is correct. And we can say create. If we want to edit something, we can edit. Or we can say create. Yeah, so the uh, purchase order is created with uh, the number 24. Okay. So for this particular uh, business unit, we have also the uh, taxation enabled. So that's why we can see it is uh, 1050. Okay, so other than that, the other details are same. So I don't want to change uh, anything here. So now if we uh, see the uh, distribution, so it will populate uh, from the requisition so we will create one uh, manual purchase order also to see uh, whether the uh, the uh, setup that we did for the uh, tab transaction account builder 
is uh, working as expected which means it's populating the uh, account code combination which we created so we will uh, check that one as well so this has been copied from uh, the requisition as, because this we are creating on the basis of requisition okay so i'll just say uh, submit Yeah, so now this is submitted for approval. So I'll go to manage order and see if uh, this has approved. So based on our setup, even this has to be an auto approved uh, PO. Yeah, so probably it will take a minute or some time. So now this is approved. So since this is approved, we can see uh, the status as open. Okay. So the uh, next step is to uh, receive uh, the item. So what I'll do is that I'll show uh, the receiving uh, parameter. So those things should be in place. So unless we have uh, the receiving parameters in place, we will be able to, uh, I mean, we will not be able to basically uh, receive the items. Yeah, so those are the actions uh, that we performed. So now what we will do is that we will uh, set up the receiving uh, parameter. So I'll navigate uh, back to the uh, setup. Okay, so this parameter that uh, I'm setting uh, setting up is for Metro Express. The reason why I'm uh, doing this for Metro Express is that we have a configuration. We had a configuration wherein uh, we will attach the uh, inventory organization with our business unit. So there initially we attached uh, the Metro Express. So which means when I'm uh, creating this purchase order, so system is going to uh, consider uh, the unit, I mean the inventory arc that I, I attached with the business unit. So for that reason, I'm taking this uh, Metro Express and uh, I'll do these configurations, okay. So here, uh, what we have done is that uh, we, we, we have given certain options. So wherein uh, we gave uh, the uh, ship to exceptions and these actions, Okay, so these are optional. So this is not mandatory to give uh, the warning message and these things for ship to exception and advanced ship to notice. Okay, and apart from that, we have early and uh, late uh, tolerance. 
So if at all I want to have a tolerance for these information, so I can give the tolerance. Okay, so just for our uh, understanding purpose, so I have given this as 10 days, which means let's say today is uh, 29th. Now, if I want to uh, receive the item on 8th of uh, July, so I can receive it because I have given 10 days as tolerance limit, so which is uh, early or late. So late we are understanding it. So why we will need uh, early is that so accordingly I'll plan my inventory because it is not that uh, I'll have a, a limit. I mean, I'll have enough uh, storage capacity with me even though I receive earlier. Because what will happen is that uh, as in practice, so we will have the uh, planner uh, within inventory. So wherein we have specific uh, storage limits. So let's say uh, uh, at 2000 square feet. So wherein we will have the storage capacity. So I might have the additional, probably the 10% uh, of it, but I cannot account it more than that. So if at all I have a condition wherein I can account it, even if uh, I have this, okay. So for uh, each day, I will have the storage capacity plan. So accordingly, I will decide whether I can handle it uh, before four days or 10 days, whatever the limit it is, so I can handle this. So after this, uh, uh, earlier to this, I cannot handle because I have already the planned activities. Okay, so similarly, I have for the late also. So if I'm uh, receiving late, so probably uh, after this, I will have another set of uh, items. To be received so probably that should not uh, affect uh, the uh, receipt that i'm making or the delivery uh, that i'm trying to make here okay so accordingly i'll select whether this is an uh, 10 days four days or two days so it's not necessary that uh, we need to have the same 10 days so for understanding purpose i have kept it so probably this could be a uh, four days and this could be two days also okay and uh, then we have the receipt uh, days at seats uh, action so let's say the uh, receipt date, instead of receiving it on at least I have uh, the 10 days limit for this. So now I can uh, receive the item till 8th of uh, July. So now uh, let's say I'm receiving the item on 10th of July. So how how should a uh, system react? Whether it should give a warning message or it should uh, re uh, reject this particular transaction itself. So warning message is nothing but it is going to give a pop-up message stating that uh, this has crossed uh, the limit or we don't have the tolerance uh, to receive this item. Okay, so that's the thing. And uh, then we have the over uh, receipt tolerance. So over receipt is nothing but more than the quantity that we have ordered. So this I have kept as uh, zero. Okay. And uh, then we have the over uh, receipt action. So again, for this, I have kept as a uh, warning. And uh, reset routing, so probably let me uh, take uh, this one. So we will see uh, two, two things here. So uh, so because when we are seeing inventory, so we said that uh, certain items we will see when we are seeing the uh, procurement module. So that is uh, the standard uh, receipt, how we will receive and uh, the inspection option. So firstly, we will see uh, the receipt option. So that is standard receipt, okay. And uh, then we will see the in uh, inspection options also. So we will uh, change and we will uh, try to see from there, okay. And uh, here we can see the receipt number generation. So receipt number generation can be either automatic or manual. So in automatic, we will have only one option that is numeric. If at all I have a requirement uh, to have it alphanumeric, in this case, uh, we will have to go to uh, manual. So that is how I can enable this alphanumeric. Okay. And uh, RMA, RMA is uh, written from uh, order management. So how do I want to handle those returns? Okay. So, so that we have it uh, separately in order management. So wherein we can handle it through a uh, credit or on hold and the other the other uh, setups are there so that we will see uh, when we are seeing the order management so far now i'm just giving this receiving options uh, for the order management as well okay uh written material authorization i'm giving this as direct uh, uh delivery the reset routing okay and uh, then we have a set of uh, controls as well. So here I'm just giving this as unordered and also I'm giving the uh, blind uh, receiving and 
I'm also uh, allowing this uh, to be uh, override at a uh, transaction level, which means here I have given as a uh, standard receipt, uh, but now if I want to uh, receive it directly into my inventory, so I can override when I'm doing the transaction, which means when I'm creating the purchase order. Okay. Okay. So we have done uh, the receiving uh, parameters. So now uh, what I will do is that I will uh, receive the item for which uh, we created a purchase order. Okay. So there are uh, two things. Uh, so one is that we have uh, my receipt and the other one that we have is that under uh, inventory. So if you see here, so when we are seeing the uh, inventory module, so we saw uh, the receipt uh, here as well. okay so here also if you see we have uh, receiving uh, options here but uh, the difference is that uh, when this item will be uh, received into inventory or uh, this particular item is kind of a transfer order or internal uh, transfers that we are working with so for those cases we will come to inventory and we will receive the item if you see the uh, inspection so this will not happen at the gate, whereas it will come to the inventory and uh, in the inventory, we will have the quality check and uh, the QA controls and the other options. So we will do the inspection there and then uh, we will confirm that, yes, this item is uh, uh, with our uh, norms and uh, controls and we can take this uh, items into our inventory. So that is the uh, acceptance that we will uh, receive from the inventory team. So for that, we will uh, come to this page and we will do the inspect uh, receipt. Okay. So now what I will do is that I will do uh, the receipt uh, from purchase order, I mean procurement itself. Okay. So here we have my receipts. Okay. So I will uh, search with the uh, purchase order number that we created. Okay, I'll change the dates. Yeah, so this is the item uh, that we created. Okay, I think uh, I did not change the uh, need by date. Okay, let me try. I think it should give a warning message stating uh, it's more than the date that we gave because this is in future date so future date anyway it, it will not allow okay. uh it should not okay i think yeah i gave uh the tolerance as 10 days i think yeah correct correct so the reason uh, how a system has accepted, even if uh, the uh, receipt date is 2nd of uh, July, uh, the reason being is that uh, we gave the tolerance as 10 days, which means I can receive this items uh, till uh, 8th of, uh, 8th of uh, July. Okay. So even if the date is 8th of July, so still I, I'll be able to receive these items today because I have uh, mentioned this as an early uh, early reset uh, tolerance as 10 days. Okay, so that is how uh, we are able to get the quantities. So I gave only one quantity. So probably we will see other few cases wherein uh, we will receive uh, partially. And also we will see uh, this P2P uh, flow wherein uh, we have set up as, uh, 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 let's say we I have created and purchased order, but the uh, reset routing that I have kept as standard. And uh, it is three-way matching. When we say three-way matching, which means uh, receipt quantity should, should match. So now what, uh, yeah, we will see those things after this. Uh, so what basically we will uh, do is that we will create and purchase order for 10 quantities. And we will receive five items. And we will see how uh, this is reflecting when we are matching uh, the invoice. Okay. 
so for now uh, i'm not giving uh, the variable uh, number and uh, the uh, packing slip number uh, so if we have definitely we will have these details so probably we can give it but this is optional field so i'm just uh, leaving this and i'll say submit Yeah, so now we have uh, this one uh, created that is with the reset number uh, three. Okay, so uh, what we can do uh, next is that, yeah, also we have this option called uh, cost management. So, cost management we will uh, see uh, separately, but for now, I'll show only the uh, reset accounting part, which means only uh, to account whatever we have done. Now, Arun, uh, sorry to disturb yeah. you. Actually, yeah. I'm having one, one meeting with my team. Yeah, yeah sure, sure. Uh, yeah, no problem. We'll connect tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, fine. Thank you. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, have a nice day. Arun. Yeah, good day. Yeah, thanks.